Hey guys, and welcome to a Cascade Gaming Diablo 4 video. So, I hope you guys have all gone and got your little pup a pet. So, just as an FYI, the quest will pop up. It'll say, go pat the good dog. And you'll wander just over to here in Kyovashad. And you'll be able to interact with this puppy to get your own puppy. So, very exciting. Um, there's also skins for your pet. Uh, if you do the uh, the pre-order for the game, um, if you want to do it, that's up to you. Um, so I actually haven't given the puppy a go yet. So apparently if you go into the Helltide, he will collect the cinders for you. So let's go have a wander, just have a quick look at how the pup works and uh, see if it'll collect some Helltide cinders for us. Um, after that, we're going to go and have a bit of a run in um, through a dungeon after this. So, um, also just to let you guys know about my build. So, you might have been wondering what my self made build is. So, we've got two points into Firebolt, three into Incinerate, one into Enhanced, one into Greater. One point into Fireball, obviously that is just for the um, the little skill you can get as a Sorcerer class. We've got three points into Devastation to increase our mana, one into Elemental Dominance. We also have two points into Flame Shield, so Flame Shield is fantastic. Three into Elemental Attunement, three into Glass Cannon, three points into Frost Nova. Now I've gone for Frost Nova. Frost Nova over Ice Armor just to freeze enemies in place and make them vulnerable. Then we've got Enhanced and Mystical Frost Nova. Five points into Hydra. One into Enhanced, one into Invoked. Three points into Precision. Three points into Conjuration because your Hydra is a conjured creature. One point into Align the Elements. We've got three into Inner Flames, we've got three into Devouring Blaze. Then we have Inferno, Prime Inferno and Supreme Inferno. Three into Fiery Surge, three into Soul Fire, three into Warmth, and then finally, Isu's Ferocity. So that's what we're looking at here. In terms of our Paragon boards, now all of this is subject to change, but I just want to show you what I'm working with at the moment. So this is sort of the pathing that we've chosen for the first board. We've got exploit in there. So you have to have the uh, 25 points into decks. So we have leveled that up to level 15. Uh, next, next board is <laughs> the burning instinct one. So we've gone straight over for that node. Um, and then we've gone basically diagonally up, Keeper of Flames, Kindling. We've got our Conjurer spell, um, Glyph onto here. Again, level 15. And we've picked Cinders. So, didn't pick up Smoldering Embers. I don't really care about um, not getting damage from burning enemies, but we'll see how that works. Our next board is the Elemental Summoner board. So, I've got Swift Conjurer. We still do need some um, dex points to um, get properly into that. I've gone up to the reservoir, so we've got that extra mana. And then the glyph over here is Invocation. So for your dexterity, um, it increases your conjuration skills. So that's fantastic. Uh, then we've got Erudite, which we do need a little bit more willpower, but you know, that'll come in time. Um, then we also have the Searing Heat board, so that's the last board I've put in so far. I've picked up Pyromancy, for the, again, for that extra fire damage. I'm working my way diagonally on this board again. I'll be picking up Combustion. Then we've got our Glyph Socket. Um, I think we will be going into Flame Feeder, so we'll see how that goes. Um, then we're going to jump up into Flame Touched. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to go into Ashes or if we're just going to add another board. Um, which honestly I haven't really decided what I'm going to do as yet. So yeah, so that's that's what we're looking at at the moment. Um, again, all this definitely subject to change. All right, let's flag out the Maiden Ritual. 
and head over there. So we've still got just over 20 minutes left in the Helltide. So let's go and let's go and see how this works, shall we? Honestly, um, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with how it works so far as well. Okay, I've got to get myself used to not having to run off and pick up all of the nonsense. Oh, there we go. Here we have. Here we go. We've got a little bit of action. All right, Doggo, are you going to go and collect my cinders for me? Yes, he did. What a good boy. Yeah, so I haven't, I haven't, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to stick with Inferno. Um, I do have the uh, the fantastic um, helm, the Stuffle Coronet. So if I decide to change over and get Meteor instead, we we can do that. But I am kind of liking how it's working so far. Yeah. Freezy Freeze, get that dreadful shaman down first because they're they're the ones that are the big big pain in the bum. Oh, ouch, that hurt a little bit. Alright, so we're going and looking for the ritual. Hey! We've got <laughs> got the that brilliant um sandworm. You would never convince me that it's not a sandworm. Um everything's quite pissed at me at the moment. You can see my Oh. So we do have to still pick up our elixirs and whatnot. That's okay. You know what? It's it's he it's head and tails better, or head and shoulders, whatever you want, what to call it. Um, a million times better than it was before. All right. And just a reminder. Um, if you're in the Helltide, anything that glows particularly red will give you will drop some cinders. Alright, oh, off you go, doggo. Good boy. There we go, and we've got... Mm, sorry. Um, <laughs> we do have... Um... I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. Hey, we've got lag! We've got lag! That's, that's something we've got. <laughs> um... Oh, got a got a treasure goblin over here, so let's uh, maybe chase him down and see what the dealio is. Oh, off he goes. Let's let's engage in in the chase. Oh no! Don't disappear! Don't disappear! I think he escaped. Oh no, he's still here. Go 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 go! Forces of hell grow frenzied. All right, everything is super pissed at me now. Which is fantastic. We love that for us. So we've got all these extra harbingers. Um, basically, you're just gonna continue getting lots of angry dudes uh, once you hit that max level. And don't forget, one of the seasonal quests is to kill a certain number of enemies once you hit that max level. Oh, max level of pissed offness. I mean, so I was thinking. So it's even more, they, they're always appearing. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, it seems like the doggo is working as intended, which is good. Oh, it looks like momentum, very nice. Okay, so we've got a, a champion from hell now. I think this is the one that I always have trouble with. Because <laughs> I still, I still low-key suck. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. See, Hell's Hatred is sated because I died. Oh, and we were, were we right on the Maiden? Yeah, we were right on the Maiden. Alright. So, let's maybe just head head straight back down to the, to the Maiden and uh, we'll go from there. We don't want to not get our elixirs and yeah, there we go. Had a bit of lag, but, but we're doing okay. All right, here's the maiden ritual. So we're just gonna chill out, do this, see how quickly uh, we can do everything. Of course, I don't have any um, flasks running. Let's go at eight percent, nice and easy.
All right. Oh, the la the lag tonight is absolutely savage. All right, so what I'd like to do is uh, run a dungeon after this, just after we do stuff. All right, so oh my god, this this lag! I swear, I am very unhappy right now. Look look at me, totally stuck. Totally stuck. <laughs> Oh man, this might this might result in a in a relog here. See, we're reconnecting. Come on, come on, <laughs> reconnect me to the game and don't let me be dead. All right, we're gonna have to to leave game and come back, which is totally okay. <laughs> Of course, of course, the night that I decide that it's time to record, we get we get absolutely stuck. I think a lot more people are playing it now because obviously it's um yeah, a lot of people are really enjoying this new season. So I think that's that's really good. I think it bodes well for the game. All right, let's see if we can finish. Finish this maiden and oh, maiden is done. Bama. All right, let's uh, let's just head down to the town. Let's exit the hell tide. All right, come on, down to the town, down to the town. But it does look like Papa has collected all of our cinders, so that's good. Let's see how this works in a dungeon. So I've, at this level, um, sort of the mid to late 30s are pretty good. Um, I just just have to decide whether or not I want to do the blood blister, because that's a real pain in the butt. Shifting city's not too bad, all stone's not too bad. Uh, let's, let's just, oh we don't have access to that, alright. I guess the decision is made for us. All right, straight into the conclave. I think that's just because I haven't unlocked the. Um... Yeah, no, the area. The area. <laughs> oh my gosh, my it's the lag is not just in the game; it is also in my brain. All right, let's pop on an elixir. So we're just going to go straight with precision again. Oh, and we can pop a point into our skill tree. So we'll just throw that into decks because we're, again, moving over to combustion is what we really want. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So there are only six levels above me. So this shouldn't present too much of a problem. So what do we have to do? Sanguine cha channelers. And there's our blood blister. All right. So with with the frost over the blood blister isn't presenting too much of a challenge, as well as having the hydras there. So at any one time we can potentially have three hydras up. So that, my friends, is due to a, um, <laughs> a having the hydras as a, as a, a thing. You've got the imprint for the extra hydra. And then in my skills, we've got Fireball, and then we've got the Hydra Enchantment. So that's that's how I can have up to three at any one time. I'd love it if we could have more, but uh, yeah, I don't think they want. I don't think they want to make this this class um, like. I don't, don't think they want to make it too OP, just like moderately OP. <laughs> All right. Yeah, blood blisters aren't presenting a challenge, which is very good. It's normally one of my least favorites, just because, like, there's there's always times where you have to go. Oh my god, there's a blood blister. Got to go back. Got to get this done. And there we go. I think our first sanguine challenge channeler is down. Down he goes, and Doggo goes off to collect our cash and materials. Very good. 
So yeah, if I if I haven't said it a thousand times yet, I'm gonna say it again. Um, make sure you go and get that doggo. Yeah, we are we are definitely not having um, a good time with the lag, but that's okay. Could be worse. It could be way worse. And it doesn't look like a pet takes any damage, which is which is really good. So um, it definitely looks like they've brought some really good elements of D3 that we wanted into this game, which I'm I'm all for. I've been literally begging for a pet like since the start of D4, <laughs> since the start of D4. So um, yeah, being able to have have a pet run around and collect things for you, ah, oh, it's been it's it's bliss. It's absolute bliss. It's like one less, one less dramatic thing to be worried about. Excellent. Ah, oh, no, help me, blah, blah, I don't care. If you're in this dungeon, you're in here for a reason, and you shouldn't have been so silly to come in here unprepared. There we go, Hydra's totally taking care of the blood blister. Very good. So we've got to search some slain villages and find the key. Um, what have we got in this one? It's either Mother's Judgment or Kazra Abomination, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at that lag. Look at that lag, guys. How incredibly solid. And <laughs> look at all of the enemies jumping on top of my head. Love that for us. Alright, let's check this slain villager. Alright. No key. No love no love for the keys. So let's let us keep going. It's uh, definitely decent XP at the moment, which is, you know, you've got to, got to be pretty happy with that. The, the mother's blessing, so it's like twenty five percent extra XP, and um, as well as that, we also have um, an extra. I think I believe it's fifty percent to gold find, so that's pretty good. That they um, did pay attention to people saying that they really, really want some more gold. Oh, there was there was another villager up here. Silly, silly me. All right, we're heading down because I think this is I think it's normally com the complete opposite direction to um, where we want to go. Oh, here we go. We've got the lag again. We've got the lag. Let's just pray we're not going to die here. <laughs> oh wow, this is absolutely next level. Oh my god. I don't even know what I did, but I'm pretty sure I pressed Hydra and I'm pretty sure that saved us. Alright, so there's the laboratory door. Let's have a look. Oh, well, we've got we've got to, we've got to hit this shrine. It's like a legal requirement. Yep, and it's cursed. Excellent, we love our cursed shrines. Look at that. Incinerate is the MVP of, of this build. Incinerate and Hydras are probably like on par actually for the best things about this build. So we're just pumping so much, so much into extra fire damage. So that's uh that's that's what's really helping us at the moment. So we've done seven waves, going pretty good, pretty happy with this. <laughs> Come on, so we've already got mastery. But I would, you know what, I'd, I'd like, you know, to maybe do, oh, I don't think we can do one more wave in five seconds. That's all right. It's all right, so it looks like we we did, ended up with nine waves complete, which which I'm I'm pretty happy about. Oh. Yeah, that was that was super unpleasant. All right, cool. Now let's yes, yeah, so off you go, doggo. A nice nice example of of the dog in action. You can see him just running off and collecting all the stuff for us. So we do we do like that. All right, you now you. All right, dog off and off and collect the stuff for us. Excellent. All right, let's see if this villager has the key to the laboratory.
There he is. Yes! There we go. We've got the key. Let's let's head our way in there. Oh, there we go. We've got the lag again. Alright, let's put our, a point into our tree. So we're heading over. Really want that combustion node. Um, we'll work on getting our extra decks and whatnot. Oh, I had two points. There we go. So we've got extra crit with this one, which is great. Plus, it's surrounded by extra fire damage. So, yeah, like I said, the more that we can boost up that fire damage, the better off we're going to be. Oh, rubber banding. Fantastic. Maybe this isn't directly to the boss. Oh, we're just going to do it. Do a little bit of traveling. Alright, let's take down these things and then we've just got to hit the levers once we've killed everything. Cool. There we go. I will grab that extra health pot. Alright, travel to the infested laboratory and what do we have to do next? Slay all. Slay all. All right, we don't mind slay all. It's it's generally a nice, easy one. Slay all because they do show up on your map, so it makes it <laughs> it definitely makes it a lot easier when everything shows up on your map and for slay all. Oh man. Okay. Oh, a whole heap of enemies doing really naughty things. Let's try and get those. Get the dreadful one down. Okay, so this dude does not want us to have this chest. Um, I mean, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, there's an enemy horde incoming. That's interesting. Whoa, okay, that's way too big. Excellent. Okay, I'm glad we got that. Oh, I wonder why we had that enemy horde incoming. Honestly, I can't I can't actually ever remember seeing that. I mean, I probably have seen it like a dozen times, but um All right, let's get our oranges and off we go. Okay. So, there's just some dudes here. Blood blister. Go away, stupid blood blister. All right. Enemy horde incoming! What is with these enemy hordes? This is... Yeah, I, I can't... Honestly, I can't say that I recall... Um, recall this. Maybe it's a... A new little mechanic we've got. Oh, I hope the lag's not a mechanic. Because that's going to make me... That's going to make me kind of cranky. <laughs> oh, do we have a... Oh, we had blood blister. Alright, let's head south and grab the rest of these guys that are just chilling down here. So we've kind of kind of done a bit done a bit of a loop, so that's uh that's always handy. When you can kind of get a bit, get a bit of a loop happening and you're not always completely backtracking, especially when you've got these kill everything quests. The backtracking definitely um, drives me insane. And we've had had a couple of levels to the battle pass too, which is not too bad. Not too shabs. Another enemy horde. Okay. This is very, very interesting. Could it just be the dungeon or is it something else? Two enemies remain. It's going to be these guys. Okay, so I think it's just a end boss in the wild. There we go. So we've got... The Sanguine Chapel 37 with extra shines, distilled fear, and we've unlocked, I don't know, other bits and pieces. Um, I'm just in the process of leveling up some other random glyphs. It's like 15 is really the level that you need them. 21 is pretty good, but you, you don't really need them unless you're absolutely desperate to get points um, in and... Oh, wrong button. Um, in and around that that glyph. So, if you like, put the glyph in, and you absolutely cannot get your 25 decks, then yeah, go for it. Level it up. 
to to 21 because then you, you know you can you'll be hitting those extra nodes um which includes that one but yeah so if you don't need it um it's probably not a huge drama to you know not get it at this point like i guess early on um but obviously once you hit level 100 uh definitely try to to hit those those extra um the the level 21 for your glip sockets all right so that's uh that's a bit of the the build to kind of show you guys how my brain's working so conjuration and just pumping everything uh, we can into fire damage anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing seeing the doggo actually running around and collecting things for us, like some really beautiful examples of that here. And enjoyed seeing that he actually will go and collect cinders for you in the Helltide, which is an absolute game changer for the quest requirement for the, the seasonal um, to open 10 chests in one Helltide. So, that's going to make things a lot easier. Instead of you running around like um, a maniac collecting them, Doggo's going to do it for you. So two thumbs up for that. Anyway, as I said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, please consider liking, subscribing, um, checking out my Path of Exile series. I'm going to be getting back into streaming. Um, I streamed last week and I will most likely be streaming on Thursday this week. So... Uh, not tomorrow, but the day after. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I'm just going to start off with one stream a week and work from there. Anyway, as I said, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, love you lots. Mwah, lots of kisses. I will see you very soon. Bye for now.